We've spotted a ship at 320. Okay. Well, I'll be damned. It might be a legitimate target. Um, in this area, it's still possible that it is uh, Dutch, maybe? So I'm gonna have us go south... where is Southeast? <laughs> And we're gonna get closer to him. Okay, that's probably good. Yes, it's actually like the first sighting my men have had independently of me. Good job, guys. I don't really know where he... Oh, he's gonna be over here, right? Okay, well, I'm an idiot. Oh, to the right. Your other right. He's over here. That is a Japanese ship. Son of a bitch. I don't know if we can use the deck gun, but I damn sure will give it a try. Uh, let's actually also check to see if he's armed. That would be pretty smart of us, wouldn't it? Um, it's a weird looking ship, but it is highly shootable. <clears throat> Just for the sake of my own edification. I'm going to try to ID him. It's one of those, I'm sure of it. He's a little bit front heavy. Wink, wink. Not really sure off the bat what that is. So that's obviously why I'm going through. Huh. It's a split. I wonder if it's one of these fellas. Maybe. Maybe. No, it doesn't have the rear cabin. Could be a medium modern split. Ah, uh, is exactly what it is. Okay, well, we don't have any um, torpedoes. So, we're going to have to resort to the deck gun, and again, I need to uh, see if it's actually usable. And what better way to find that out than to use it? Um, he's probably going to pull that bullshit of uh, yes, steering, a steering away from us. Uh, I Actually, I didn't really need to do that, but that gives us an idea of how much tonnage he is. And that would be a welcome addition to our tonnage haul for this uh, little venture. So, well, some of my men are asleep. I don't see any reason to wake uh, third shift there, graveyard shift. Let's put uh, Dudo on there. And, uh, well, wait. First shift, main deck is asleep. What are you guys doing? God, just a complete lack of discipline. I cannot remember who's been on Deck Gun Crew, and I'm sure I'm reassigning people who have been. Let's put Crumble on. Let's put Crumble on. Well, Veronius is on now, but Crumble is on now, too. Um, hum. Rooster Dentures. Rooster Dentures, get up there, my friend. And how about Dixon Balls? I'm going to feel really embarrassed if I haven't had any of my, or an, all of my weapons guys on there at some point. Because that will have just been a complete waste. But, oh well. Whoa, wait a minute. Is that really how many rounds I have? I thought I had significantly fewer than that for some reason. Well, this is good news for us. Yes, sir. This is good news for the general conduct of the Let's Play. Whoops, no, no, no. That's not how you do that. And oh my god, he's going to get really close to us without turning. What an idiot. Alright. Dicks and balls, and gentlemen. Fire. And instant fire. Okay. Must have hit some fuel. Or 
maybe some fryer oil. Perhaps some lube. Waterline! Yes, That's what we want. Yes, sir. Are we gonna ram him? Like, directly? That wouldn't be a good idea. I know how much you guys would just... Some of you would disagree with that. It's really not a good idea to ram things in one of these. Unless they're asking for it. In which case, go for it. Just... just Ram to your heart's content. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, that was not intentional. Still continuing to turn. He's pointing right at us, but I have us pointing right at him, so it's only fair. Just hit the superstructure of his ship there. Totally on purpose. I'm going to stop zooming in because he is so close. Whee! I don't know why I thought we had so much less uh, deck gun ammo, but... I'm happy we don't have a lack of deck gun ammo. Okay, we'll zoom in real quick. exactly where I hit him before. I'm trying to hit him below the waterline if I can. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I'm turning us towards him again. Oh my god! <laughs> He's armed! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> ah, fun. Fun for everyone. Everyone enjoyed that, I'm sure. Including me, effing controller. Oh, that was great. Well, we learned something, and that is that he's fucking armed. So we're going to have to go about this a little bit more, uh, shall we say, uh, not dumbly. Shut up. Everybody's fine. Is anybody badly hurt? Probably not. Why are you guys even in red? Sailor in red... Kurt Steiner appears to have taken the brunt of it. Maybe he fell and hit his bottom. I don't know. We've got hissing. We've got angry cats all over the ship. Um, okay, so let's see. Let's, let's, uh, evaluate. Because the fact, the mere fact that he has a gun shouldn't scare us. Alright. We just need to find where it is and act accordingly. It looks like he has one to the stern of his ship. Yes, sir. There's a gun right there. Yes, sir. Right there. So here's what you do. Here's what you do in that situation. You, um, shoot him from the front. And that's probably why we weren't taking any, uh, or getting shot at so much when we were, you know, shooting him from the front. Um, it's because he didn't have any way of hitting us. It was a dead angle. Um, are we still... We're returning port. That's actually okay. Um, in fact, I'm going to let him get some distance. Just so that his machine gun is kind of nullified. He Machine guns aren't a big deal... <laughs> uh, if they're, you know, pretty far away. You son of a bitch. I'll make you pay. You're gonna be making estimated payments to me quarterly for your crimes. I'm gonna garnish your paycheck with bullets to the face. Alright. I am going to slow it down and I'm going to put it, put it, it being the submarine, on the surface. Like the man says. And uh, we're going to try a little experiment. 
we're just gonna kinda start chasing him. And we're not taking any damage, so I feel relatively comfortable assigning a deck gun crew again. Hopefully I can put somebody injured on there. That sounds like a brilliant plan. Alright, let's get the professionals in here. Let's get Matthew Hoover and Trunk Monkey. And, uh, Ock9. Oh, he's sleeping. That's Wolfie McPherson. He's asleep. I didn't want him. You guys saw that. I clicked up here for Ock9, and it somehow took Wolfie. Alright, now let's fill round it out with, uh, Scrubs. Raffle. Um... I know I've had Mr. Dix. I know I've had lots of Dix in this patrol. So we're not gonna load up more Dix. Let's put Influx on there, for old times' sakes. My old friend and companion Influx. Mr. Cujo can come along, too. And let's get Variax, who appears to be slightly bruised. Sorry, old friend. Builds character, etc. Um, we're gonna just kind of amble up a little bit, see if I can't get my men shot with a machine gun. And I actually am doing that mostly so that I'm out of the view of this thing. So there you go. That's why I did that. That's my explanation. And uh, if it's insufficient, fuck you. I think that was a hit. I did see a little bit of, uh, little sparkly thingy. It's hard to tell in the waves. We've, uh, noticed this before, though. Oh! Yeah! It's a Ubiquue! That's how hot it is. Okay. Please don't sue me. Okay. Uh, he is zigzagging away a little bit, and I don't know why I did so much time compression there, because that was just uncalled for. And that's, you know, those are hull hits. They're not quite exactly what I would call waterline hits, but they're, they're respectable. You know? That was a little bit short. In my quest to land a waterline hit, I have come up short as well. I wasn't looking. Oh, there's fire. I was looking to make sure my microphone was on. That would be embarrassing if it wasn't. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, one thing about this is I might have to go off to the other side of him and land a few... Well, wait, no, we were on the other side to begin with, so... Well, we'll see how he does. He's... You know, he's flame-broiled right now, so... I don't really know if he's, uh... Gonna present much of a problem either way. Oh, well, he's turning to the other side, so they made that decision for us. That's fantastic. A little high. Whoa! Look at the hang time on that! Where did it even go? What the hell is that? <laughs> wow, that was impressive. Whew. Do the Eagles need a punter? Because this guy right here, he's your man. As long as you're shooting at him with a large gun, you can lob projectiles over long distances. Okay, that was a dumb, strained joke. Anyways, we're going to continue on here. Keep on plugging away. As I ruthlessly fill the attack with cluttery commentary. My dog is looking at me confused. Wondering why I'm talking to myself as sparkles emanate from my computer. 
There, there, Fergus. I don't know either. And, you know, this is seeming a little bit um, excessive, so I'm going to go to the other side. See if I can't land a few shots on his port quarter. Pumps intact. Oh, well, thank God. Now we can pump. I already forgot the range. He's looking kind of crappy, but um, we want to assure that the business of the day is done. So I'm going to lob a few more shots at him, and then... Oh, we missed. Um... And then maybe what I'll do is I'll just let you guys know once he starts sinking. Let's let's land a few hits together. Oh wait, yes, we sir. need to turn, uh, don't we? Yes, sir. And that was a failure. A miserable failure. Oh hey, so now he's turning towards us. And that was not short. That looked pretty good. I think I'm going to increase the range just a touch. It was marginal as far as whether that was going to be a hit or not. So, one more time. And that was short. Okay, so I might have been seeing things earlier. It looked like the spray from the impact um, was, you know, hitting his ship. So, spray of the water. And that's one way of gauging whether or not you hit. Um, that was also short, it looks like. One more hit. And he's only showing that side of his ship. That's actually fairly clever on his part. God damn it. Well, okay. Uh, I'm going to keep plugging away here, and I'll let you guys know what happens. Well, I've landed a few, and by a few I mean a lot... <laughs> Of really solid hits on this guy. I think I'm going to leave him alone for the time being. Because uh, we've used a lot of ammo on him. And that... Oh, I think that was a hit, actually. So, yeah, we're going to uh, leave him uh, probably to sink. He looks pretty bad off. He is going quite slow. So, um, I'm going to turn somewhere. I think I'll just start going back this way. And uh, we'll head on home. I'll keep my eye on him for a bit, though, as usual, and make sure that he does indeed sink. So, we're moving along, heading on home. And we've got the notification. This uh, medium-modern split freighter of 3,200 tons has gone down. Nice little surprise. Happy to have stumbled upon it. And so there it goes. Going for a swim. Ha 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 ha. Bring your flippers. In any case, we are heading home. We're going to apparently sail through this peninsula here. Oops. There we are. going to sail that way. And uh, continue on home. We've had some really slow... Uh, processing going on here, and it turns out we do have a contact of some kind uh, to 278. Oh my god. We've come across a convoy, and we have no torpedoes. Ship spotted. None torpedoes. Does look like a Japanese minesweeper. Oh my god, and they're heading right for me. Well, it's also the dead of night. I'm going to send a contact report in. Let them know that we've found something. They're probably just going to tell us to hustle on home. That is definitely a Japanese naval ensign on that. Well, let's look at our, I guess I can just go to the deck gun to find out how many, we have 32 rounds, it's not really quite enough to sink anything. Do 
rat. Well, uh, we did at least make a report. I don't know if I want to get into too many zany hijinks with the... Yeah. Break contact, they're telling me. But let's take another quick look. Not really able to identify any of these. I don't think I'm going to engage them. It would be kind of hilarious to charge in with the deck gun, but I think we've had about enough of that. Have don't you think? Don't you think so, folks? I think so. I'm just gonna go feel crappy for uh, passing this up, taking a look at what's in there. That's not even a minesweeper. That is a proper destroyer. There's a flanker there. It's not a huge convoy. Oh, it's got a light cruiser in it. So it is a good idea that I didn't open fire because it's got guns. It's got big guns. Guns that would ruin me. Ruin, I say. Ruin. And it's got some little dopey ships. Yeah, I mean, this would have been nice if I had run into it with some torpedoes, but... And we would have been perfectly positioned. We would have just sat there and waited. But no such luck for us, I'm afraid. Mostly, I'm just looking to see if they have any tankers. It is a little bit early for them to be using tankers because they haven't really gone into the oil-producing areas yet to... Well, I mean, they've invaded them, but they aren't getting any of the oil yet, so... I can I can feel less horrible about letting these guys go. So, all right, uh, we're gonna just keep heading home, I guess. They're gonna get a little bit close though, so I think I'm gonna have us go yes, under and go silent, and we'll just creep on by, let them go, and uh, head home. Hello, Perth. We've made it to Perth after a stupendously boring yes, journey. All and stop. as you can see, our fuel is a little yes, low. Sir. It's not terribly low. We've got plenty to spare, but, you know, my, my concerns were valid. I feel like I should, um, you know, point that out to you people. Some of you may be doubters. I don't know. Y'all are haters, etc. So here's Perth. Uh, the jewel of Western Australia. Indeed, perhaps of all Australia. Known for its its mining. And its mining. And its location in Western Australia. Whoa, what is that? If you were flying a different flag, my god, I would make sweet love to you. Oh, that's that's still cool, though. Got some uh, dauntlesses or something on the deck there. Wonder if these guys have <laughs> have horrible, horrible lobster claws, and they do appear to. It seems to be a pandemic. Well, in any case, we're here in Perth, um, safe and sound, all nice and cozy. We're gonna go to the, you know, go to the bar, have a Foster's. I can't do an Australian accent. I really apologize for even trying. <laughs> Oh my god, I the best I can do is to sound like uh the manager guy, Murray, from uh, Flight of the Concords, and he's not Australian. But uh I'm not even gonna unleash that on you guys. But all that nonsense aside. We are in Perth, we're safe, and I'm ready to end the patrol, but there are some decisions that we need to make. First of all, it is very likely that we will be offered a new ship uh upon docking here. Um which I might as well just do right now. And patrol! Let's dock! Um, 28,000 tons. A whelming, shall we say, um, result. Not bad, really. I mean, especially for a sugar boat. That's really not shabby at all. Um, we might have taken a little knock to our renown because of my failure to complete this objective, but... Like I said, I have legitimate concerns about our fuel. You could see that it did take a considerable amount of fuel to get back home. So, uh, let's go to the next screen, and we got a bronze star for some reason. Probably for being kind of stupidly brave. 
<laughs> facing down that convoy. And I'm going to keep my fingers crossed here. Yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah! We're going to get a new fucking sub. I'm, I, I feel like the sugar boat is sweet and wonderful and nice, but man, I'm, I think I'm ready to move on. The, the whole thing of being extremely slow, really unmaneuverable, and having a very limited armament is getting to me. So I'm going to say yes to a new sub. Oh no, it fell! And, oh great. Him. Our intel guys have broken the Japanese do, communications do, do, do. Code, And we finally have the chance to do something real about it. Something real, Japanese something genuine, Japanese amphibious man. assault is on its way towards Port Moresby. Mm. The fall of Port Moresby and the rest of New Guinea would provide the Japs with a platform ideally placed for an offensive an intel -based against Caledonia, platform. Fiji, and Samoa, which would cut our supply lines between Hawaii, Panama, and Australia. I gotcha. It would okay. also strengthen the line of defense for their newly acquired oil supply. Uh-huh, okay. Since we stopped them to the north on the mountain line, Japan's only choice is Japan? to approach through Coral really? Sea for the attack. Our intelligence predicts that invasion forces would be escorted by at least two fleets. So carriers. perhaps there will be a to battle of the Coral Sea. I'm interrupting this guy like crazy because he just drives me nuts. Take position off the New Hebrides. With help from land-based air power, we might match the Japanese attack and turn the tables on them. Turn the tables on. To support this operation, our submarines will patrol the area between New Britain and Bougainville. They will provide advanced yeah. scouting to the U.S. task force and may get to take a shot at a Japanese flat top. Incidentally, my favorite character from the hit comic, Dick Tracy. So, okay, we're in Perth, and it's March 24th. Let's take a look at our new sub. It is the USS Pickerel. Oh, that's a fun little name there. Um, can we do any upgrades on it? Well, damn. But we do have anti-aircraft, extremely important, and we have, I think... Oh, it's an aft-mounted deck gun. I don't like the aft-mounted deck guns as well, but they work. Um, oh, boy. We have the wonderful Mark 14 torpedo now. That is going to be a barrel of laughs, ladies and gentlemen. But we'll get to that next patrol. Um, as you can see, I have some slots, so I'm going to be filling those in. But the big thing that I want to talk to you guys about... Oh, I had somebody on damage control that entire trip. Well... Oops, let's get you guys back into your cubby holes here. Um, oh, we have a rear torpedo room, too. Boy, we've really got to fill out our staff here. Um, so I'll be adding people, obviously. But the big thing is that I'm thinking of not um, using um, real fleet boat anymore. Uh, reason being is that I feel like there's something wrong with it. Uh, if anybody has any technical expertise to offer, any insights, that would be most appreciated. But um, at this point, I'm thinking of not using it anymore. So, with that in mind, um, I'm interested in gauging interest in using Trigger Maru, which is another conversion. It's a little bit more difficult based on everything that I've heard and my you know brief kind of playthrough of it. Or I could just go vanilla and say, fuck it, let's just have fun. Because really, the vanilla game, I, I kind of railed against it at first, but it's a silly, fun, not really very thoroughgoing simulator. It Really, in a way, any of the mods that we're going to use, Silent Hunter 4 is just such a kind of a departure, in a way, from Silent Hunter 3. There's just not as much serious business, you're going to die kind of <laughs> thing going on, which is, I think, partly why I don't like it as well, but... Um, I'm wondering if I should keep trying to make it into something that it fundamentally isn't, or if I should just embrace the silliness. I ask you, the viewer, if you guys would like to give me some insights, or, you know, again, if you guys think that I'm doing something wrong with Real Fleet Boat and that I can fix it, um, you know, I can just Fonzie it and elbow something on my computer and say, hey, and then it'll work, please let me know, because, uh, well, I guess if I fonzie it, that would be self-explanatory. You guys have, again, I'm just interested to hear what you guys think, how, how things are going and everything. So, um, we are now sailing in the Pickerel. We've got a lot of crewmen to add. Um, I do have a queue. There are people who are waiting to be added, but please do feel free to um, mention your interest because it's possible that there will be vacancies. There's always possible vacancies. Yes, yes. Oh, yes. People will die. So, on that note, um, oh, we have medals too. Well, I'll worry about that in the intermediate 
period of time here. Oh, we've got promotions? Damn! All right, well, that's a serious decision. Several serious decisions. Lots of stuff. Lots of stuff to think about for you and me. So I will leave you to your thoughts and to your internet pornography, which you're probably watching in another window. So this has been Effing Controller playing Silent Hunter 4. And I will look forward to hearing back from you guys about this and uh, playing this again real soon. Catch you later.